my name is Rodney Hill, and today we're going to take a look at licensing using the Tools Talk 2 software and our PowerFocus 6000. Let's take a deeper look. In this video, we're going to license Tools Talk 2 using the customer license portal. So to start off with here, I'm going to open my Tools Talk application. And as I load that here, it comes up and it's going to give me an error right away saying that I've exceeded my maximum limit of virtual station configurations. So I'm going to click OK. And if I click on this system administration icon over here, and then inside of here, I'm going to click on the icon on the right, which is the functionality management system. I can go down here and I can find the device ID of my device and we'll need this to register this on the portal. So before I look at this list here and choose which one of these I want to use, there's a couple of things I need to do for good practice. So I'm going to open up a command prompt and I am registering this on a Surface Pro that has a couple of removable MAC addresses. So it's got a removable ethernet port on this device. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that the one I choose is one that's gonna be here all the time. And you can see I've got quite a few devices on this machine actually. Um, but the one I wanna use is my wireless network controller here because I know that's always on, on the Surface Pro. So I will use this MAC address here. It ends in 72-6F. When we put this into the license portal, we'll take out the dashes. But I'll go back to the tool stock here and I've got my error message again. It looks like this one's already been chosen for me. So I'm gonna click the button here, which allows me to copy that value to the clipboard. And now I will go into the Atlas Copco customer license portal, log into my account. And as I do that, I have a bunch of information here. I'm gonna search my line items to make sure that I've purchased a license for this. And it appears I have, I've got a license here for Tools Talk 2 line manager with an available quantity of 10, that's 10 virtual stations. And then I also have a license in here for soft PLC with an available quantity of three. So now I need to register my device with the customer license portal. So I can basically marry the license to that Mac address. So I'll do that by clicking the register button. I'm gonna go up here to the ID field and I'm gonna do a control V which pastes that value from the clipboard. My ID type, I'm looking here, I'm using a physical server. So my ID type will be ethernet and my type will be flex server, and it looks like those are already pre-selected for me. So I'm gonna give it a name, let's call it Rodney Surf Pro, and our location for this will be Auburn Hills. These fields, you can put anything you want in. It's a good idea to leave that as something descriptive, so it makes sense to you later if you need to look that up. So I'm gonna create that device, and I'll see here that once the device is created, there's the MAC address of the device, and no features are currently mapped. So we're gonna fix that now by clicking on the Map Features button. And as we pull that up, this shows me all the licenses that I have available. As we saw before, I have the 10 Tools Talk 2 License Manager licenses, and we're gonna go ahead and add all of those. And at the same time, I can manage, I'm, I'm using the server version of Tools Talk 2, so I can actually manage my features on the controller with that version of Tools Talk 2. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I also have licenses in here for the soft PLC. It looks like I purchased three and I've already used two. So I'm going to use my last one here and we're also going to put this into Tools Talk 2. So I click Map Features and I'll get a screen here that tells me that the license is not generated yet. So when I download the capability response, that will generate the license and give me a file that I'll need to update into Tools Talk 2 to uh, show it what license it's allowed to have. So I'll go back to my Tools Talk 2 screen here and again, it's reminding me my license isn't valid. I've already set my host ID to the proper one. So now I want to import this file here and I click the three dots and I'm going to go to my downloads folder where that file went click on that and I'm going to upload it to Tools Talk 2 as I do that it will automatically close and restart so it's going to disappear here for a second it's going to read the file and then it comes back up and the first thing we notice now is that I'm not getting the error message about not having enough licenses if I click the question mark icon up here I can see now that I've licensed a line manager and I have 10 licenses and, and right now I'm using three of them. So it worked exactly the way we expected. And you can see my controllers on the list here. If I click on the system administration and my functionality management system icon, I can see here that I have a license for three out of 10, as I said, controller features here. I've got a soft PLC. Right now I don't have any on a controller and I have a total of one available. So if I wanted to, these controllers are offline, but if I wanted to, I could add a license for the soft PLC to one of these controllers 
that easily and push that to the controller. So we've covered how to license using Tools Talk 2 and our PowerFocus 6000 controller. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. And thank you for watching.